Hi everybody, this is Bastian. Today we're going to take a look at uh, the Durkin opening. So the Durkin is uh, 9 to H3. It's an irregular opening. So what's the point? Um, against uh, computers it's uh, nice to play because they are out of book immediately. And against human opponents we have a psychological effect. With Knight to H3 you're unprepared uh, to play against it. Black plays e5, which is pretty standard, taking control of the center. Also, he immediately creates an attack on a3, so white has to double the pawns in some cases. So, more often than not, we can see black move his e pawn to immediately create an attack on uh, the a3 knight. Now, much more refined would have been e6. And if b3 is played in order to prevent doubling the pawns, so we're going to see fianchetto tactics for white in this game. Then black can play queen to f6, attacking the rook and preventing bishop to b2, which will force uh, white to play rook to uh, b1, and it's still playable for white. So e6 is some sort of refutation against uh, the Durkin. But already black is unfamiliar to play against it. And he plays e5, which is fine. And b3. And d5. So black has been allowed to take control on this over the center. Which is never wrong, of course. Bishop to b2. And knight to f3. And of course, we can't capture the pawn because of the attack on uh, the knight at this point. So the knight on a3 sometimes can jump to a um, c4 or can help support c4 for a pawn advance. e3 creating more uh, protection for um, the c4 uh, square so we're going to uh, try to advance the c pawn knight c6 and c4 of course if at this point black takes the pawn we can simply recapture and get our knight back into play on a nice outpost on um, c4 of course black isn't going to do that and instead plays bishop to b4. Bishop to b4 prevents uh, an advance of uh, the center pawn. So when bishop b4 is played, best to play perhaps for white is uh, knight to c2. And knight to c2 forces uh, the bishop back on the diagonal forces an exchange of uh, the bishop if he retreats. So let's say if uh, the bishop retreats to a5, we can simply advance our pawns with uh, b4 and of course uh, black cannot retreat through uh, b6 because then the bishop will become trapped and if black exchanges, so bishop takes pawn, so I'm down a pawn Knight takes, knight takes. Now this pawn is hanging. And bishop takes pawn. And it's more or less an equal game with uh, good chances for both sides to win. Anyways, um, this will counter the pin on the, the d2 uh, pawn. And we'll free up um, the pawn to take control of the center. So knight to c2 was played. And the bishop simply retreats. So we can see that black, having no real idea how to play against the Duncan, has now wasted the move in retreating his bishop, uh, moving the piece twice and retreating the bishop to d6. 
all this of course helps white. Play continues with uh, knight to f3, e4, knight d4. Of course, uh, now the pieces can be exchanged, and we can see that White's Turkey Knight is actually in a good position. So Black doesn't uh, capture uh, the knight, and instead simply castles. So I take his knight. And black doubles the pawns, bishop to e2, getting ready to castle myself, bishop to f5, Durkin knight goes to d4, nice outpost, bishop d7, to retreat uh, to safety, white castles, pawn takes pawn, and bishop takes queen e8 queen c2 and we can already see that I'm building up strong diagonals to attack the king's side h6 and f3 so in order to free up the queen's diagonal this pawn needs to move and if takes I can even bring in the rook or bringing the knight, opening up the diagonal for uh, this bishop as well. So if takes, for instance, rook takes, or knight takes, is uh, fine as well. Instead, c5 was played, so I moved the bishop to um, e2, and now the black squared bishop has an uh, open diagonal. Pawn takes, that's probably a mistake. So at this point, I can recapture um, the pawn, but first we take the knight on uh, f6, which will create more weaknesses on the king's side. So, black has a choice to uh, recapture the bishop or the knight. If pawn takes bishop, which was not played, play can continue with uh, queen g6 check. And of course, black can't recapture because there's a pin with the bishop. King h8, another free pawn, check. King g8, and now. Rook takes pawn is not that accurate. Best is to play bishop to d3 with an immediate mate threat. And this in fact forces pawn to f5 to block the diagonal, which in turn will block black's diagonal and free up the h3 square. So after f5, check force the king to uh, the back rank. Now knight takes on uh, f3 and a combined threat of um, rook to uh, h3 mate with the diagonal of uh, black's white colored bishop will lead to a fourth mate. In other words, pawn takes bishop leads to fourth mate. So Pawn takes knight was played. And now, another uh, nice tactic queen to g6. Pawn cannot take queen because of the pin. And now, pawn cannot take bishop because of the second pin. And of course, I'm threatening. Queen takes pawn on g7, which is mate, and there's no defense to that, so um, black will be mated in a few turns, and it's game over on move 18. So um, that's my game using Durkin's uh, opening. I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching, and uh, have a great evening.